We could be talking, Kieran, election night as to whether small target was to be so small target was the right strategy for Chris Minns, because at the moment it's difficult to sell a message for him other than it's time for change. Is that enough? Are the state Labor guys doing enough or are they trying to roll in off the Albanese victory in the 12 years of coalition government and the fourth Premier or uh, whatever? So Jordan was uh, someone concerned about public education and interest rates. Do you think Labor... He's a little bit concerned if the interest keep going up, or especially I think it's the property price. Uh, you know, when we have a big family, then we're thinking about upgrading the property, then that's a lot of price we need to pay and work harder. You were saying that in terms of the standard of public schools, you'd like to see them lift? Yeah, that's right, yes, because uh, I think a lot of people spend a lot of time, especially for our trials, uh, children, they spend a lot of time on study now because a lot of pressures are soft around, you know, like uh, different family, they try to get into the first selective school or OC class, and in order to get a better education in the, in the future, but, you know. And for, for the young children, I think it's a little bit suffering at the moment. And, you know, for the age like them, I think better to like, enjoy the study of life, not so much pressures, until they go out, of course. It was a 50-50 door knock, Kieran. This is one of the major seats to watch when we cover election night. It's a real hand-to-hand... Uh, door-to-door -door combat this election with not much difference between the two sides. Illustrated again by the fact of flack from Dominic Perrottet's officers just corrected me and said mm -hmm. they are committed to Parramatta Light Rail Stage 2, Kieran. Yeah, indeed. Sounds like it's going to be close. Maybe a long night for all concerned on the 25th. Thanks, Andrew.